Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you want to be updated to it on a regular basis, head on over to the YouTube. I call it the YouTube. Get on over to YouTube uh, and uh, hit the subscribe button. Follow Akash and I individually on Twitter, Akash at Mangyeko, and myself at Just Analysis one Bitcoin, I mean, I don't see anything different from what we've looked at over the last uh, week or so, two weeks. Um, you know, on the $1,000 three-box reversal chart, when it triggered at 44 k uh, nothing has changed here structurally within the point figure chart, which is one of the things I love about point figure because it just filters out the noise. So all of the, all of the yuck that's been happening down here that none of this has changed. Um, still looking for, still looking for a return to test 61 K uh, structurally on the point fig on the candlestick chart. You have the dub big red truck, um, very super obvious, head and shoulders pattern um, that is continuing to show difficulty breaking down lower. Um, very much like we, we just looked at with Ethereum. I think we're just seeing a, a uh, higher low being established. And I, uh, definitely, I think we see the next leg up here happening very, very soon. Definitely within this week. Um, if it doesn't happen by Friday, then certainly on Saturday or Sunday, we should start to see that next leg higher, just looking at it from a GAN analysis perspective. But yeah, downside risks, if they're there, um, re really in that uh, 39 and a half to 40K zone. And then um, upside is definitely right at that 61K level on the point and figure chart that we've looked at previously. So that's what I see for Bitcoin. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. I really don't have a lot else to look at there for it. Let's see what you see, Akash. Thank you, John. Right. Uh, so uh, a lot of things happening here. Uh, the last time we formed this triple tap setup, we saw this uh, capitulation candle here on Jan 10th, which collected the liquidity resting uh, anywhere between 40,747 to $39,629. Uh, since then, price has moved uh, pretty uh, quickly and uh, to the upside, uh, but it kind of formed a local top here after from double top uh, around uh, 44439 which is where the previous week's high is present. And right now it's uh, venturing in this uh, for our demand zone ranging from 41.8k to 42.7k. I don't see a reason why it should retrace below this particular demand zone, or probably which is uh, 41,762. So I believe there's going to be a, a, a reversal here, and we make a run for the previous high, a sweep above the previous high. Ideally, I want to see it fill this uh, fairly gap here and at least retest the, uh, the yearly open if not close above it. Although close above it would be really good, in which case uh, I would see it at least trying to retest the 200-day the moving average at roughly 48,627. Right? Uh, I, this is where I think the upside for Bitcoin is capped. And we can see here, Bitcoin did form a death cross here on 14 Jan. So the upside, ideally, if I'm being conservative, is capped at 47,592. If I'm being an optimist, I would see it retesting the the previous previous week's high at fifty thousand one fifty, which interestingly formed uh, around this level. There was a double top formation on seventh December and twenty seventh December, so there's a, a quite a bit of liquidity buy some liquidity resting above it. There is, in an extremely bullish case scenario, I see Bitcoin sweeping above this level here for fifty thousand one fifty to collect this liquidity. If we do get a weekly close above it, although I don't feel like we're going to get it, at least now, uh, there is a good chance we go all the way up to 55,803. And the, ma the main reason why I believe that's going to happen is because, again, because of this fairly gap here, which uh, was formed in between 3rd and 4th December, when we witnessed this massive uh, flash crash. So this is uh, what I have for the upside. As for the downside, short-term outlook, I don't see it going down. Uh, from a long-term outlook, uh, there is a good chance we could come down to 29,000, uh, approximately 27,506. 
and the reason is we set up a triple tap setup here before in July before the price actually rallied from 28,000 to 65, 69,000. So this massive run up there is a quite a bit of sell, uh, sell side liquidity resting below the lows over here. So that's uh, that's where my downside is capped. And it is not this uh, inverse, uh, not inverse, the actual head and shoulders patterns target. It comes all the way down here at 25K. I'm just mentioning that this, I'm not saying it's gonna go there, but So yeah, uh, the target for this head and shoulders pattern that we see here could push it all the way down to 25,000. So that's my take on Bitcoin. Right on. Well, thank you, Akash, and thank you, everybody else, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.